All right, what is up guys? So in this video, I am going to do a speed run of building a micro SaaS landing page. I'm going through all the steps of first picking an idea and then I'm going to build out the entire landing page and hopefully under 10 minutes and then I'm going to share the URL uh, probably in the comments or the description. And then in this video, I'm also going to go over three tools that you can use to launch your landing page faster. And then at the end of the video, I will be going over a bonus tool on basically how you can launch more landing pages even faster. And this will be useful if you want to test a lot of ideas. Let me go over the three tools that I will be using. The first tool that is Cursor AI. So Cursor AI is this AI code editor that makes it a lot faster to create landing pages. So basically, you can chat with your code and it will do a lot of coding. I, I will be showing how it works in this video. And then the second tool that we will be using is Claude.ai. So Claude makes it easier to write code. And even if you don't know how to write code, Claude will do most of the coding for you. I highly re recommend um, getting the pro version of Claude. So this is the LLM that I've been using the most. So Claude. And then the third tool is basically exploding insights to find ideas. So with that being said, let's get into the video. First, we're going to find an idea to create a landing page off of. So what we're going to do in exploding insights is first find the ideas. Go to Indie Hackers page, and this will pull up all of the startup ideas mentioned in Indie Hackers. We can filter based on revenue. So let's say we want to find products that have made over $10,000, right? So let's quickly just scroll through and try to find an idea to create a landing page from. Let's see. All right, so this one looks pretty good. It's called Blender Market. So let's open up the website and we're going to clone this landing page. You can see that it's a pretty basic setup. It's got like a hero above the fold thing. And then underneath of it, it's just a bunch of grids with images and whatnot. So here's what you do. I don't suggest just copy and pasting the design, but if you want to start and you're not sure how to like make your landing page, you can screenshot the landing page and bring it into Claude and tell it to please convert this into HTML and Tailwind. So you do this and then just mention this is my design. So it's okay if you code it. So you mentioned this because sometimes it will not actually code it if you tell it it's like someone else's design, for example. But the, the point is you don't want to clone the copy and the images. You're just trying to get a the structure and then you would go in and change like the colors, the tags, and just make more adjustments. But do not like exactly one-on-one -on -one clone it. That's the idea. So it'll write this code and I already have the file set up. So basically just create a index.html and what you do is you can just copy and paste this here, copy and paste this, put it in inside the HTML page and we can open this and see how it looks. Open index.html and this will open up the page. So you can see that, okay, it's like not bad, not bad. Let me just show you guys what, like how you deploy this thing. So after you have the index.html set up and you have the code in here, what you want to do is set up the GitHub. You would go on GitHub and push it to a, to a repo. So here I have the repo already set up. So YT speedrun, you would just add all of this stuff. Let me just add this quickly. All right. Now that all the code is in the repository, you see the index.html. What you can do is you can host it on Vercel. So typically I do not like Vercel, but for hosting static pages, I think it's pretty good because it's free. So you just start a new project. This is the repo that you just created. So you, you import it. And one side thing is that if you have a single landing page in HTML and you want to host it on Vercel, make sure the page is called index.html. Otherwise it will not um, find it properly. And you can see that it's pushed and this is online. The URL is YT speedrun Vercel. So this is the URL and this is online. If you wanted to see it, I'll like put a link to the description, but let's like move on and try to make improvements to this. So this is just the hero, like the top of the page description. So let's see how we can clone this part. So what you do is just again, screenshot this and you can put it in the same conversation. And let's say make this part of the HTML slash tailwind as well. And let's see what it does. So you can see that it edited the previous code. This is the header and navigation bar that we have in here, but now it's coding the rest of the site. Basically you can just copy and paste the new 
section of the code and it will allow you to just edit and add that part. So I just scroll down and copy all of the main part, go back to cursor and you paste it here. Yeah, just here and let's refresh our page and see what it looks like. So it's got all this. Obviously the images are not uh, properly set, but if you were to set images, it would be done here. In cursor, just say uh, command K and just say, I want this section with X axis padding. So right now this is touching the edge, which doesn't look that great. So you can just tell it to edit the padding and we can refresh the page and it, it moved this, but we also need to edit this part. So basically just go up here, X axis padding. So you can see this is like the workflow where you copy and paste from Claude and you have the landing page here that you can manually see and then just edit and make commands inside cursor. And you can just like refresh and like you see that, that it added some padding here. It's not enough. So let's, you can say 2x more padding on the x axis. Yeah, this is like pretty much the workflow where you iterate and make code changes and then see how it looks. And then you can push it to GitHub and it will reflect in the actual website. The one call out though that I have is that sometimes the design skill is not that great. That's one thing that you're probably going to have to do yourself, which is tell it how to improve the design. But um, besides that, you don't need much coding experience because the AI is doing most of the coding. Now that you have the landing page up, you can promote this on social media like Reddit, Twitter, Product Hunt, and you can get real users to test and see if they actually like the product. So this is how you get the landing page up quickly. I'm going to push this to GitHub just to show you guys that the um, actual site was updated. So git add commit changes, git push. So I'm, I'm pushing this to the GitHub now and I will make a separate video on how you can test and find ideas and probably um, monetize better. But this video was just to show you guys how you can create landing pages really fast. And the last part of the video is how do you launch even faster? What you'll notice is that a lot of these components you can reuse for other uh, projects. So what I do is that I save these components into a GitHub repo. And then whenever I need to say, create a category page like this, I can just copy and paste from that repo. So I'm not creating these components every time for each new project. You can reuse a lot of the parts for other projects. So I'm going to re refresh the page and you can see that now the actual site has been updated and it has the changes that we've been working on. So yeah, it'll just show you guys how fast you can actually test ideas and um, I will see you guys next time.